What's up guys? Today we have a 2013 uh, Chevy Sonic with a 1.8 and we're getting the code P0171 which is uh, fuel system trim or fuel trim too lean or whatever. I'm going to try to put the description of the code uh, description somewhere in the video description. My bad. Alright, anyways. We got it diagnosed and they told us that it was due to a failed PCV valve. So the first thing you need to do is you need to start your car and that's what we're gonna do right now. Go ahead. All right, I hope you can hear me with all this noise, but here we go. Let's remove this. And you're gonna to wanna to watch out for your PVC valve, which is right here. I don't know if you can hear this. I'm gonna cover this up. Do you hear that? Hissing sound. That right there is causing too much air. Go ahead and turn it off. Just listen to that. That right there is causing um, too much air to go in into the system and not enough fuel. So it makes the engine idle way too rough. Okay. So in order for you to fix that, you need to go online or go to your local auto parts store and buy a new valve cover, which is this whole thing right here. All right, and it's gonna be a very, very easy and simple fix. We're gonna show you right now just how to take care of that, all right? First thing we need to do is remove all the uh, obstructions, like wires and stuff like that, out of the way, like this, and so on and so on. Okay, make sure that there's nothing around there because we're gonna be removing all these screws right here all right and these are inverted torques but you can use a i believe a 10 or an 8 millimeter socket we'll show you right now okay so just stay tuned real quick you will also have to unplug this right here and remove the uh coil or the coil pack which uh, you can achieve this by using a t30 on both of these and taking them out all right so to remove this pull on this tab press down so you can make sure it lifts up and then wiggle her out of there maybe a little bit stuck you may have to spray a little WD-40 or something or you may have to use two hands all right here we go all right so just like that after pushing really hard just wiggle it out of there and this is gonna come off all right so just move it off to the side and then we did find it it is an E E10 if you're using the inverted torques, all right, for these right here. So once you have this unplugged out of the way, your wires out of the way, there's gonna be this thing right here, which is a one of your vacuum hoses connected to the valve cover, all right. And in order for us to remove that, we're gonna have to pull this 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 metal clip right here, and then once you pull it out, just pull the hose back. It should be very very easy, but be sure not to lose that clip, okay? There we go. Yeah, just only like that. All right, so I'm gonna grab one of these things with a pick and barely pull on this like I said you don't want to lose it so just pull okay. all right and it should pop just pop off there you go just like that you see that all right and we can just leave it like that because when we pull the whole thing it's going to come off okay now we are going to move on to removing the coil pack and you, we're going to do that with a T40. I thought it was a T30. It's a T40. All right. This should fit nice and snug right there. So is it ready to un undo? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. Let's try to break these loose. All right. They shouldn't be that tight. All right. So break them loose. And we're going to unscrew them real fast. Okay. All right. So once you undo these. Put them somewhere off to the side so you don't lose them. And now this may be stuck a little bit. Try to use some pressure on each side. Make sure this is not hot, by the way. Don't work on your engine if it's hot because you're going to burn your hand. All right. So just pull it out just like that. And bam. Now's a good time to check your spark plugs. Look at that. Although, you know, we're not doing a spark plug change right now. It'd be wise to get them cleaned up, you know, and then put them back in. But all right, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and grab our E10 and we're going to remove all of these, which is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 
bolts. All right, so stay tuned real quick. We're gonna go ahead and loosen all them up. All right, guys, with all 11 bolts loose, you're gonna start to see some play on it. You see that? This is how easy it should be, okay? If it's stuck, you're gonna have a little bit of a hard time getting it off because you may have to pry something. And you're gonna be very careful prying with these engines because they have aluminum blocks. All right? So just like I'm, I'm sorry for the camera work, just like I'm maneuvering it just like this. That is how easy you take off the uh, valve cover. All right, make sure you don't lose your screws. And it's 11 of them total. I suggest you either mark them down and put them separately. And here you go. That's what it looks like underneath. All right, here we got the replacement uh, valve cover. It came with a new gasket. We are having to sit it, you know, sit it in place. So make sure you, of course, run your fingers through and feed it or set it in place. Make sure that there's no gaps and to prevent any leaks, okay? So go all the way around and put the gasket just like so on your new valve cover. All right, and now the installation procedure is gonna be the same thing in reverse. So um, I took that out yesterday, but just to show you, we didn't have the parts. So now I'm gonna remove this and put this one back in. What gets damaged is this right here, which is your PCV valve, positive crank case ventilation or something like that. All right, here we go, guys. I'm gonna do some YouTube magic and then just swap it out. All right, one, two, and... Okay, actually, before we install the new one, we need to clean up all the the edge where the new gasket is gonna be seated, all right? So there's no leaks. So we're gonna grab one of the, a rag like this or a shop rag and s carefully scrape the rest of that. Make sure it's real nice and clean, okay? Let me go ahead and do that real fast. All right, so here we have the new uh, valve cover with the gasket installed. We're gonna set it in place. Can you help me try to move the things out of the way? Let's see, I'm gonna try to do it on this side first. Keep in mind I'm doing this one-handed. You may need to use both hands to do this, all right? And it gets stuck right here, so just move it out of the way. All right, Get the clips. You almost got it, you almost got it. There we go, gotta go under that wire. It's not sitting right, huh? It's not sitting straight. Oh, you'll, you'll feel when it sits straight. Let me see. All right, we gotta do a little maneuvering around here because it's stuck on something. And there we go. Bam! Just like that. You watch that whole thing live. All right, so now everything lines up. See if you can start one by hand. Yes, you can. Just tighten them down by hand first, and then we're gonna torque them down just enough to make sure that it doesn't leak, all right? So, like I said, this is just a, a video of how we're doing things. Do things the right way, Google it, whatever you have to do it, all right? So here we're gonna go and tighten everything down. We're gonna do some YouTube magic for you. Ready? One, two, and three. You have uh, your, your bolts all tightened down and torqued out, right, to specifications. Go ahead and uh, reinsert everything back around it. So just, there should be tabs right there you can slide these things in. All right, that right there and this right here, as you can see. But this one we can leave it out because we gotta put the uh, coil pack in, okay? But go ahead and put your wires back. If you unplug something, make sure you plug it back in. There was no need to unplug anything though, okay? So once this is done, uh, it's time to put your coil pack back in, put your new oil cap on, and uh, we're good to go, guys. Pretty much how you do it. So we're going to do some YouTube magic and fast forward, okay? Here we go. Stay tuned. All right. Here we have our cap, oil cap. Let's put this cap on. All right. There we go. Nice. We have our lovely coil pack. Slide it over the spark plugs. Push it down with your hand or palm, whatever. And, of course... Plug it in. 
listen to a click all right there we go it clicked on lock it and uh, get your t40 remember t40 and tighten these down all right let me grab the t40 all right here we go got my t40 and i'm just tightening them down by hand they don't have to be extremely tight especially with these t40s they're easy to strip and you don't want to break your screw in the block all right so do it by hand tighten it up a little bit you want to grab your ratchet you can but i'm just going to leave it like this for now all right and just like that ladies and gents i'm going to put the cover back on i'm sorry yeah i plugged it in i'm going to put the cover back on there we go and now slide this back into tabs and voila that is exactly how you change the valve cover on a 2000 and whatever Chevy Cruze Sonic Chevy Trax anything that has the GM 1.8 Ecotech engine in it all right so if you stuck around this far thank you so much for watching please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe for us to keep these videos coming all right thank you very much my friend make sure you start the car and look around for any leaks you don't want to have anything get caught in between and you tighten it down all right here you go that's how you do it guys thanks for watching take care just to compare it to the old one i don't know if you can hear it already there's no noise coming out of here so that means the problem is fixed there you go guys